Hi, sweeties. Today I'm going to show you the top wit grill and hot pot combination. I mean, it's really a griddle. Oh, sorry. It comes with a hot pot side, a griddle side, and you can do boiling hot pot, steamboat, shabu shabu type of thing over here, and then do a little griddle of meats and vegetables here. I'm going to show you how to use it talk all about it and tell you, is it a good buy or is it not a good buy? Let's get into it, but first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. Now let's get into this top wit grill, griddle, hot pot. It comes with a tempered glass lid that covers the hot pot side. It holds just about five cups of water. I'll pour a little water in there in a second, but it is ooh, about two and three quarters inches deep and uh, five and a quarter inches wide. I have five cups of water here, so let's see. We had a hot pot for dinner, my Yay. husband and I, a little date night and well, spoiler alert, I enjoyed it. Oop, that was five cups right there, and that's almost to the top. Now, you don't want to, you know, use this, use it this full because it can, you know, splatter all over the place. I would go a little less um, liquid when you're actually using it. I'm going to tip some out. There you go. Don't forget, you want to leave room for all the delicious ingredients you're going to add. Dry it off. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and let you watch it come up to the boil in real time. It's got the little outlet pronged removable cord here, three prongs. Plug that in, and this it fits nice and snugly. I did read the uh, reviews on Amazon, and some people were complaining that the cord did not fit snugly inside the unit. I haven't had that problem. Some people have. I'm going to turn it on, and it's got a hot pot side, level one and level two. I'm going to turn it to level two, and then it's got the griddle side. So I'll turn that on. So the hot pot is on, the griddle is not, and I'm going to cover it and we're going to let it come to boil in real time while we're talking about it and we'll see how fast that comes up to heat. The griddle side, let's measure that, is seven and a, uh, eight and a half inches wide by seven by eight inches, so eight inches by eight and a half inches and just about a half an inch deep. It's got a nonstick coating on the griddle and inside the hot pot and it's not removable um, and you can't immerse the whole unit in water when you're washing it. So you do have to be careful while you're uh, washing it. Don't plunge the whole thing into your sink. Um, you kind of have to, I'll show you washing up later, but you can't put the whole entire thing in water. The unit is lightweight. It's about five pounds and it's got this like one piece um, base around the outside. It kind of reminds me of <laughs> my easy bake ovens. <laughs> you know, when you ever had an easy bake oven as a kid, I have a whole bunch of them now up there in the kitchen. But it reminds me of that. It's definitely not heavy duty equipment. So just uh, be aware from that, of that. I don't think this is an everyday, an everyday cooking kind of thing. Let me grab my um, tablet and give you a little more information uh, from Amazon where I purchased this. And speaking of quality, you'll notice there's a little bit of like an imperfection here, right there. Uh, on the nonstick coating. I purchased it. I did pay $89.99 
for this unit. It comes, this is the pink color. It also comes in green. It's perfect for a date night, perfect for Valentine's Day. I had a whole bunch of fun using it yesterday, my husband and I, and I just had the whole spread of um, short ribs and like the flank and short ribs, some pork belly, some that we marinated and some that we didn't. And I used, hang on, this Fly by Jing hot pot base. And since I put about four cups, I use chicken broth with this. It's, this is vegan and it is, uh, it says not traditional, but personal fire hot pot. And it is, again, it's vegan. Um, it is all natural. This, what else does it say back here? Spicy, tangy, a uh, complex base. It's, a, it's got the Sichuan, um, pe Sichuan pepper oil. So it has that numbing effect in your mouth. It's not super hot, but it's a little bit hot. Uh, it wasn't too much for my sort of weak palate. <laughs> I can't do too spicy, but this was perfect for me. Um, so I used a, a four cups of uh, store-bought chicken broth and half a packet of this fly by Jane. Um, it comes with two packets inside. So you can see that chili oil on top and then the rest of the spices in the bottom. What you do have to remember, if you're not using the whole thing, when you're pouring it out, you pour all of the oil out. And I think a lot of the Sichuan sort of uh, pepper oil is in there and you can get a lot of that numbing effect. So it's probably better to, you know, portion it all out into something and sort of scoop out some of the oil and scoop out some of the uh, chili peppers on the bottom. But you know, you put this in here with your water or your broth and let that simmer. And then you can add your vegetables. Um, your meat shrimp was good. Corn was my favorite uh, part of our meal last night um, because the sweetness of the corn really worked well, I think with the, the heat, the numbing of this, um, fly by Jing hot pot base. There are other hot pot bases that are available. If you live near an Asian market, an H Mart, uh, Nam De Man are a couple here in, um, the Atlanta area. There's great wall and I see they usually will have some thinly sliced meats, pork belly. Um, uh, what do you call that? Um, rib, uh, ribeye, short, uh, pork belly, ribeye, um, all kinds of different cuts of thinly sliced meats. Uh, the ones that I got from Nam De Mun weren't as thin as I would have liked them to be, but they worked out really well here on the, um, griddle, uh, and in the hot pot. So I even, um, cracked an egg towards the end of our meal. I used, I saw this tr uh, trick on, um, I was watching Strictly Dumpling, Mikey Chen's channel. He does the best food travel. I love his work. He's done like hot pot tours of San Francisco and New York. And one of the things that he did on his, in his videos was he'll take a raw egg and a spoon and crack the egg into that boiling hot pot and let it poach in there and this is after all of the spices have been like cooking down and the meat juices and the vegetable and so i tried it and it was probably one of my favorite parts of the meal uh, about three and a half four minutes of poaching in the broth and it was so good this is already starting to simmer now let me get the camera and adjust and you know let you guys see just in that amount of time of us talking and chatting, this has come up to the simmer. So it's, it works quickly. There you see that it's already boiling and that's on level two heat. It might be a good idea if you have this on your dining table to put something underneath it to catch um, spills and drips. 
because this, if you have this super full and it's got your, your meats and your vegetables boiling up in there, if it's covered, it can boil over very quickly. So you've got to make sure that once it comes to the boil, you take the lid off so that it's not bubbling over and getting all over your tablecloth and whatnot. But um, having a tray, a sheet, half sheet pan underneath it really helps to catch any drips and spills. The griddle side also gets nice and hot. I tested it with my heat gun here. With this, I tested it with this infrared thermometer on level one, the griddle got to about 350, 355 degrees. At level two, it got to about 450, 455 degrees. Um, it cooked very well. We had our um, short ribs. They were about, oh, I would say a third of an inch thick and it browned nicely at level two. Um, even with the um, marinades on there, the sweet marinades, we didn't have a lot of smoke. Um, it's probably a good idea to use it where there's some ventilation. We did open a window, but there was not a lot of smoke coming off of this. Um, but yeah, if you're using a sweet marinade where the sugar can burn, just be aware of that. It could create a bit of smoke in your, oh see, it's got a facial. <laughs> nice and steamy. Um, but it does uh, heat up nicely. And it, you can see it sometimes, I had it at level, level two and it would cool down a little bit, I think to uh, regulate its temperature. So it would, I think it cycles on and off so that it keeps it from overheating, which you have to keep an eye on because if your temperature drops too low, then you can start steaming some of your foods. But I didn't find that to be an issue. It just is keeping it from getting too hot and burning everything and being a total mess. So I think this is super fun for two people, one person or two people. It's perfect more than that. And it's getting a little crowded trying to get into this smaller space. There are a few other units um, out there available on Amazon that have, uh, say a hot pot in the center and two griddles on the side that you just plug in. Um, but they're not as cute as this. I mean, this is so darn cute. I just, I love the colors that it comes in. I love pink. As you probably could tell, but this is just, you know, super cute, super fun. Um, and it is fun for Valentine's day. I really have been enjoying using it. And, um, like I said, it's not for heavy duty use, but it is definitely fun for once in a while, little date night or, um, just dinner at home for cleanup. I let it cool off most of the way, but not all of the way. And just took a damp paper towel and wiped off any of the, um, cooked on marinade and it came off really, really easily. Um, you definitely don't want to clean it while it's hot cause you can burn yourself, but I let it cool off most of the way and look, it wipes clean easily. And then I took it over to the sink and dumped out all of the liquids put some warm soapy water in the hot pot side and then just took my washcloth. I made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> and remember, you don't want to uh, submerge this in water. So you just want to take your um, dish cloth and wash the inside and wipe off the outside until it's nice and clean. And then just give it um, a little rinse and a wipe down. And um, that's it. You're pretty much done. The nonstick coating works well, but of course I've just started using it. So, um, you know, when it's brand new, you know, all the nonstick works great when it's brand new. So if you have questions, if you have this unit, if you love hot pot, let me know what has to be in your hot pot. Um, what kind of things do you put in there? I had bok choy, Napa cabbage, corn. Ooh, so good. Um, and short ribs and pork belly and fish, uh, balls, fish balls, um, and, uh, shrimp. Whew. So darn good.
I had fun with this. Um, I would recommend it. And while this is boiling, I can touch these handles. It's not hot. The side here where the water is, is warm, but not too hot. But definitely like I don't have any oven mitts or anything on and there's no problem with me touching the sides. Now this metal part with the Gnostic coating is hot. So be careful with that. But this the pink here, the base, is not, it's warm on this side, but it's not very hot at all. Um, so please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.